So I've been playing a ton of Airship Escort because it's been a lot of fun. Although I've noticed a bit of an issue with the meta or how people are approaching the game. They're not really focused on the flanks at all, and that's a really, really big issue. In this Austin game, we're going to exploit that massively, and we're definitely going to help our team win this one. And actually, I'm going to show you a small clip of a game where we lost. My team lost badly because we ignored the flanks. Uh, but before we talk about that too much, what happens when you spawn on a flank by yourself? Should you just leave it? Go play with your teammates? Well, probably not. I think it's really, really important to hold on to these flanks and at least scout them out. So in an Austin here, I'm in a bit of a weird situation where I have very good concealment for a cruiser, but not good compared to DDs or anything like that. At least there's no carrier in this one, so we don't have to worry about the plane spawning. So you're going to notice that I approached this side of the map using the island to push up very aggressively. And then as I poke around the island, I'm constantly thinking about turning away, kiting away, trying to play a little bit more passive since I'm only on my own. Like, I have no help here, right? So we finally do see a battleship, and we just start turning away right away, drop some torps, wait for a good opportunity. Austin's a little different than a lot of the other cruisers in this game where it's a very bursty cruiser. You're definitely a little more like a battleship where you have that one punchy alpha damage strike, and then you gotta wait a little bit of time. Uh, and that comes with this infinite reloading reload booster. And it's pretty good, as you're gonna see here. But giving up these flanks is a big problem in airship escort, since you do have to escort the airship across the entire map. Here, of course, we're at the end, and you're gonna see exactly what happens when the enemy team gives up that end destination. They're gonna have such a tough time pushing into me and they're forced to give so many broadsides to either my teammates, who are escorting our own airship, or to me. And they'll take a bunch of damage from either these guns, which, just like that, 15 seconds, that's 32,000 damage. <laughs> the DPM is pretty massive on the Austin. Uh, or the Torps. The Torps are really, really strong as well. So these flanks in airship escort are very, very important. And I think the... Uh, home flank or where the airship spawns is also pretty important to consider. You don't want someone pushing up behind you, creating more crossfires, or if it's a DD, that constant spotting threat. Um, in the next game I'm going to show you, there's actually a Kleber that gets behind us, and yeah, that's pretty nasty when that happens. That gunboat DD spotting you constantly and very, very difficult to take out at those longer ranges. I'm actually not using my uh, reload booster here since we see the Borgone coming. And I do have some help against the Z10 here. So Austin is a little bit trickier to manage than your typical cruiser. Uh, but we want to deal with this Borgone now, who is pushing out trying to deal with this flank. And this is a little bit more specific to battleship players, but if a ship that could stay in conce concealment decides to open up on you, Maybe there's a reason they're revealing their position to you. <laughs> I think you DD players know exactly what I'm talking about, but if you don't, well, launch some torpedoes in such a way where the battleship, to shoot all of his guns at you, would have to turn and eat those torpedoes. And, well, this poor, go this poor Borgone fell for it. So we are going to use our booster now to get a bunch of DPM in. And even though there aren't actually normal achievements in this airship escort, that is definitely a dev strike. 100% <laughs> to zero in just a couple of seconds for that poor Borgone. Austin has amazing torpedoes for that. It's a really, really strong ship. Um, but these flanks are really, really important to control. Because as you can see, now that we've kind of secured this flank, I'm able to get on this uh, the enemy team's side here and wait. I'm just patiently waiting for an opportunity to use this burst. I've spotted all of these guys for quite some time already, just waiting for maybe the Talon to angle into my teammates and show me flat broadside. A half-health cruiser is suddenly going to disappear. It's really, really important to hang on to these flanks. I could be maybe not as much in a battleship. It's harder to do these kinds of things in a battleship, but certainly a cruiser and definitely in a DD. These flanks are very, very important. So. Keep that in mind when you're playing these airship escort game modes. Don't just give up the flying. Don't just all clump into your own airship's bubble. Uh, it's not going to work out too well. And that's what we're going to see uh, in this next clip. So I'm playing my Worcester. I'm very focused on going with the airship in this one. 
and we've given up our flanks. You can see that Kleber sneaking up the 10 line. And uh, I'll spoil it a little bit, but there's a Shimakaze on the 3 line that is pushing up to flank us as well. And our team is just clumped up around our airship. And we're going to lose this one badly. And it really isn't down to the ships themselves. It's down to just being outmaneuvered, outpositioned. We're even ahead in our airship's uh, progress right now. Uh, but it's going to come down to the enemy team just was able to kill off a lot of our key ships early, take a lot of ground because we were forced to play so far back thanks to this extra spawning and lots of torpedoes that we had to deal with. And they're going to win this game. So playing that flank, playing that role can be very beneficial to your team. But crucially, you shouldn't be giving up those flanks. Uh, especially if you're in a DD, try and use them to spot, especially if you have teammates already focusing on that middle cap. Um, our Holland basically only stayed in our airship escort the entire time. Didn't really do any flanking at all. And I think that contributed to this tough loss. But to be clear, I don't want to single out and blame a single person, because obviously these games are team efforts. But as a team player, you should be aware of these flanks and how to manipulate these airships. We talked about how to manipulate the speed of your airship and the enemy airship in yesterday's video. And yeah, I think the flanks are also a very crucial part of airship escort. You don't want to give them up. Um, and if you're looking at Austin specifically in this game mode, it's pretty awesome when people are forced on specific paths. Some of these closer range, high bursty damage ships become amazing. And eventually, probably next week, I'll actually show you guys a Jinan game where I absolutely dismantled an enemy team. It was it was disgusting. Um, so we'll we'll talk about that a little bit in the future. But here's the uh, commander for the Austin. We are going into heavy sap cell sap shells. We want that burst, we're trying to use um, our concealment and some of our tankiness because this actually has pretty decent armor, extra healing is always going to be nice, extra HP on the special Ovechkin commander is also extremely valuable here. Um, it's a strong ship, especially in this game mode. It's just tough to plan around this reload booster sometimes, 106 second reload. Uh, so you basically have 106 seconds to get yourself into another good position to burst down someone for 30 or 40,000 HP. Uh, the torpedoes, of course, we did an insane amount of damage to that Borgone with them. Also, 19,000 damage each, and they traveled 10 and a half kilometers. Austin is no joke. Here's the uh, upgrades that I've gone with here. I really don't see a need to go with extra range either. Um, it's a, uh, it's great, honestly. This airship escort mode, like I said, uh, I think it was in. The first video I actually put up on it is the weird ships and builds and combinations you can run in this game mode is so much fun. It's such a breath of fresh air for World of Warships, at least for me. Um, you can let me know what you think in the comments below about that or about these flanks. Um, for now, I just appreciate you guys watching this video. This armor belt is just ridiculous on Austin. <laughs> You're actually very tanky at close range, although less so at longer ranges. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.